Hey everybody, I'm uh, lingering out here with Gracie, this uh, Roddy. Tends to be reactive with other dogs, so I'm just giving her some time to be in the yard uh, in between some sessions. I have to tell you that there's one word that came to mind today which was unpredictable, not in Gracie's case. But I, I actually realized we, we hear that more often than not. My dog is unpredictable. And if you think about unpredictable, something is unpredictable if we don't know the reasons, if we don't know the why part of it. Now, a lot of times we just try to justify our dog's behavior. My dog jumps up on people because they just, my dog loves people so much. Well, we can put reasons to that. And then, well, my dog doesn't jump on so-and-so. I don't get it, it's so unpredictable. Well, it, again, it can be unpredictable, but we have to look at the reasons. A lot of times when we look at dog behavior, for someone maybe they're getting their first dog, they don't understand why a dog may scratch up the grass after they go to the bathroom. They don't understand why the dog may snap at the mailman or uh, is perfectly fine with, you know, my kid's friends coming over, but, you know, my husband's brother that comes over, the dog is really unpredictable with. The dog has a reason for everything that it's doing. We just sometimes just don't know the answer to that. And if I don't know the answer, then I talk to somebody that I feel would know that. As well as I feel like dog owners, if they don't have the answer for something, a lot of times they just justify that behavior. Oh, he snaps at the mailman because he's wearing a uniform. Or because he's got short black hair. You know, I, it's, I think we get ourselves into trouble that way when we start to say unpredictable and my dog does this because and it's some outlandish reason i always joke around with my staff when somebody says you know my dog doesn't like men with beards or something like that and that and there may be a lot of truth to that i'm not you know saying that's not true but we always joke around that you know we hear that my dog isn't good with other dogs with short tails on wednesdays when it's rainy out and it's under 50 degrees. You see what kind of excuses we make for our dogs that way? Like it's so easy to say that. It's so easy to come up with a, oh, that's the reason why. And a lot of times, I can tell you from my perspective with just the dogs that I work with, I'm not talking about the general population of dog owners or dogs, just a lot of the dogs that I work with and the owners have put an assumption onto a behavior that is not entirely accurate. And uh, and that's uh, to me, that's why they're coming to us. They wanna know the why. They wanna know the, the way to handle it instead of just trying to justify exactly why the dog's doing it. And when we justify the dog's behavior or we call it unpredictable, we either separate the dog from the situation and stop the whole learning process or we're going to just put an excuse on the dog and just accept it. And then the dog doesn't have any choice to change at all. It's just going to, it's just going to be an association that's built. So then the dog just does it over and over and over again. So it's either removal or repeat. You know, it, it's it's a it's a catch twenty two either way. So, uh, you know, that's my take. I think, you know, some dogs to me, I'm almost in my what twelfth year of doing this. I've got dogs sometimes to me that are unpredictable because I don't understand and that's why I consult somebody with a better skill set than me. I, I want to learn. I want to know how to do that. Uh, now look, the check engine light could come on in my car and I'm not going to say, well, I think it's because of the so and so and so and so and so and so and I will tell you, I have zero interest in learning why that check engine light is on. Just take care of it. I, I, that's just me when it comes to cars. I just, I don't even want to know the whys, the hows. I just want it taken care of. Well, easier said than done when it comes to dogs. When, you know, when it comes to dogs, that's, you know, that's when I would have to get my hands dirty. If my car was a dog, I'm like, yeah, I got to get in there and figure this out and, uh, you know, know the exact why and know how to fix it. Well, when owners come to us with their dogs, that's what we need to help them with. We need to know the whys, finding out what makes them tick, finding out what's exactly wrong, and then be able to go and, and work with the owners from there. So, you know, as a dog owner, 
that needs help with your dog, you have to get your hands dirty. That's all there is to it. Any training that happens, whether it's in your home, whether it's a class, a private session, or a board and train, you have to get your hands dirty. There is no, hey, I'm just going to have the trainer train my dog and afterwards it's done. No matter what you do, there is always a transition time for you and your dog where you have to put in the work and you have to get your hands dirty. So that's my take today, you guys, on uh, unpredictability, justifying behavior, and getting your hands dirty. Three, three big subjects that we could certainly talk about for quite some time, but I just thought for right now this would be good to share with you all and kind of sum up the week here with everything that we've got going on with, with these dogs. So, uh, again, just think about that word unpredictable. If you use it, it's just because we don't understand. 